Good morning, Glammies. All packed up. Hi, Rai Rai, Amalon. Hello. Getting ready to head to the airport soon. And yeah, it's that time, y'all. Special thank you to Delta employees Joe and team because I don't know what compelled me to leave at the time that I left. Well, it wasn't 100% my fault because y'all know I don't have a car. The line, y'all, was literally from how you check in, regular checkpoint. The line was all the way to baggage claim, damn near. Okay. Everybody is outside. I don't know where everybody going, but I hope everybody get there. Special shout out to Joe and team because they got me up through there in a timely manner. Otherwise, I wouldn't have made it. I realized that my suitcase is broken. Like, what? Broken. Like, not paying attention. Frank has me in the longest line of life. And guess what we're about to eat? McDonald's. Y'all already know how I feel about McDonald's, but it's the only food option on this terminal with this line. Ridiculous. Know who I was with, but um, my baby mama, <laughs> friend, tell them why we even here because I'm not, I'm just here. Tell them why we I'm here. I'm having surgery, guys. I know I look kind of crazy. My girl was getting all the coins last night. They said, yeah. here nor there, mind your business, and don't come for her because I don't play by her. But go ahead. Um, public service announcement I'm not a stripper because the lady oh. said that, <laughs> however, but yeah, I'm getting surgery, guys. I'm getting. My boobs. Woo! Get a good look at them because they not gonna look like that. Yeah. In 48 hours. 72. Ah. Oh. 72. She's trying to put me on the table before. I'm just here to make sure that everything is to our standards, that everything is to our liking, and that don't nobody play with my feet. They yeah, I've been talking about this for years. I need this shit to be right. Tell them what you said this year. Talk to the people, friend. You said this year was. About me. About being snatched, paint, rich. I haven't taken y'all to her new place, but baby, don't play with my bitch. Uh, what is it, post op? We're gonna do a post op where we're gonna have a post op <coughs> review. I'm gonna show y'all, and you really should be thanking her for even allowing me to bring y'all on this journey because it's a really intimate thing, I feel like, but yeah, she's always been very transparent. And uh, it's really big on self love and. So a lot where people feel like, and sorry about my horsey uh, <laughs> voice. 
But yeah, we'll talk about it later. Discuss it later, you know. We have a lot to discuss that actually ties into that. But I just had to let y'all know while we're here. I done teased y'all long enough. So I will keep y'all posted. We are at Italy, which is like local pub. I just got off of and I am ch 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 chilling. Tayani actually had to go in early to meet her doctors and unfortunately I wasn't able to go. But what I am able to do is catch up on this much needed soak up sun, tan lines, all of that stuff I needed. So I'm going to be right here. morning glammy so i really didn't do too much yesterday because i oddly started feeling weird like in the morning so i didn't get out of bed till late and then i just spent the day at the pool but today is the day i'm about to go meet my girl at the hospital and check in on her so we can get some updates and yeah i'm really really excited y'all gonna get a full we're gonna go like a full 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 in depth but let's just get there first. Here we go, y'all. Yeah, my girl. Give my number to because I know your sister got it. I mean, yeah. Yeah. all marked up. When I checked in with you all at the hotel, it was like just getting seven, maybe seven thirty. It is now six twenty-three, and she looks bandaged, bruised. No, that's because she is not. So I marked up. She is marked up. As you can see. This is a, a whole thing. Um, let me just put that out there. I am out of the country right now, which means that a lot of the processes, systems that you may find in the U.S. and how they do surgery is non-existent here. <laughs> non-existent. Um, however, like I said, I've been here since 6 a.m. and I have not gotten surgery yet. However. I was told that because my doctor, which I will definitely, definitely recommend him, 10 out of 10, um, I do respect the fact of him not wanting to do more than what he feels is his capacity. Um, he doesn't do more than four bodies a day. Um, and of course, it was five of us, so that's why I got pushed to the next day. However, um, under some other circumstances with someone else who blood pressure was just a little too high to do surgery, he decided that he did not want to operate on, on her at all, which I respect a lot. Because as a doctor, um, it's not just about money, it's about your patients too. Um, and it's about getting us home, <laughs> furthermore. So, that was the thing. So here I am, I am back, but I am the last one. Save the best for last. And I am getting extra surgery. Last minute. This was a last minute add on, y'all. I didn't even know about it. Yeah, I was coming in there and he was just like, I want you to have a perfect body. So I was just like, cool, but listen, not too much. Yeah, um, we're going to have to get into it when I get back about this whole in between steps um, of just surgery in general. Like, my process as far as like with my doctor, my recovery, I was 10 out of 10. But the logistics, the details, the details, for sure. And then I would I would 100% recommend, even though I'm not getting anything done, I would know for sure going forward, I would want someone here with me. One, because 
it's a lot to try to consume and digest by yourself. I feel like especially if you don't have someone here supporting you. And two, it's always good to have someone that can check on you, that knows you, your family. They can just be that line of communication, especially when you already have like a language barrier. Yeah, and especially with me, um, I'm very irritable when I'm already under a lot of pressure. <laughs> and that's how I know, like, that's how I know I'm irritated. Like, I might, sometimes I can vocalize it, but then sometimes my actions don't Really, they really they don't come out yet. Yeah. So it's just like, yeah, having somebody here to like keep in contact with your family, to talk to people that you don't want to come to because you feel like, oh, I've talked to them during two times. And guys, excuse my appearance. He's like, I'm going to so I did not care about nothing. <laughs> I have a hand without nails, a hand with nails. It's just a hot mess. But you will get the update to see the final version. So. I'm leaving the um place and friend is still there she hasn't quite yet gone under but I'm going to be back early in the morning to check on her but I was up all night literally all night I did not sleep at all and I knew I was tired because I'm sitting up straight and I'm falling asleep so we'll try this again tomorrow and we'll have some results to show y'all Good morning, Glammy. So it is like 10.30 and I just packed up my bags. Tayani went into surgery around 7 a.m. Bags packed over there and I'm about to go push up. So new body's about to pop out. Okay, so tell us what we got here. What'd you we do? got the tummy tuck. We got, we got a little hip put in. Some thigh lipo. Some arm, underarm hip light bulb, and some back light bulb. Okay, okay, and then over here. I got just BBL light bulb and I got my back light bulb. So tell me y'all, like, what's been the most painful experience mm -hmm. so far? Or not even just most painful. Someone can say most painful and then probably like the most annoying. The, the waiting process here is horrible. Sip They don't have no type of medication. Yes. None. There is definitely a communication barrier, yeah. a language barrier, for yeah. sure. Oh, yes. Please learn Spanish. <laughs> learn Spanish, and if you don't know Spanish, you ready to wait your ass. Because they don't answer to, not to say, if you don't speak Spanish, you get in the back of the line every time. Yes, you I saw that. Times I speak Spanish, people will get in front of me, and they just take over. You mm -hmm. to them. No. Um, I think it's just a light bulb. It's a light bulb for me. I heard that. Uh, I heard that's the second time I've heard that. It's a light bulb. It's really, yeah, it's just a light bulb. <laughs> and then also going to that blue pill, mm -hmm. forcing yourself to relax. Yeah. That first that initial blue pill, and then you have, I'm just sitting there thinking to myself a whole bunch of crazy shit. What? Like, what? You don't hour. know. It's, it's scary, right? Yeah. And then, of course, they give you a little bit of water, so that pill just stay right here. And then y'all can't, it's not like y'all can eat or drink for at first. So it's, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's not even trying to go down. Yeah. And then you just looking up, and it's a scary ass lab. <laughs> That was a scary, that was a scary spot today. This is Tayani's nurse, who's been taking care of my friend when I wasn't able to. And we just saw her out of surgery. Everything went well. Hey, and now she is taking me to the airport so I don't miss my flight. And guess what? She's the best. So make sure you get a dope overnight nurse, a good care person. Ooh. She's taking care of me and my friend. So yeah, y'all, I'm on my way back to the States. And y'all gonna see that new body yaddy yaddy real real soon. Uh, yeah.